Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, and so it's going to be finally checking out the free-to-play tech Bio Broly. Um, when his details came out and I read his kit, I was actually relatively surprised that he seemed pretty good for a free-to-play unit. So we're going to check him out and see how well he does. Um, they gave him a movie bosses category lead for three key seventy-seven percent. 77 is the go-to for free-to-play units with an easy A. Originally, he only had a tech leader skill, so the fact they gave him the movie bosses one as well is pretty good. Um, his super attack, he greatly raises attack for one turn, does supreme damage to the enemy, and lowers attack. So no defense raise on super, but he gets key plus 8, attack and defense 102%, and reduces damage received by 60%. So he just straight up has 60% damage reduction, like unconditional. Then he gets key minus two, no more than minus six, and damage reduction rate minus 20, no more than minus 60, with every two turns passed. Then he reduces damage received by 30% when facing only one enemy, performs a crit when facing two or more enemies. Then he gets an additional attack and defense 180 when performing a super, recovers 10% HP, um, and gets an additional 100% attack at the start of the turn, starting from his next attacking turn after receiving an attack. So the way, I, when we read his details, the way that it like reads is that he only has to receive an attack once and then every turn from then on at the start of the turn he heals 10% and gets an extra 100% attack. Because um, it says at the start of turn, starting from the next turn after receiving an attack. If it was just at like, if it was just at the start of the next turn after receiving an attack, it would be like once only and then you'd have to get hit again. So I believe that's how that works. Um, and then he gets an additional attack and defense 100% and an additional damage reduction of 40% starting from the 10th turn, which is a bit crazy. Um, but yeah, so basically against one enemy, he has 90% damage reduction, but every two turns he loses 20%, which is not ideal, right? We don't really want units losing damage reduction. It's the reason why, like, the... AGL LR Golden Freezer hasn't really aged particularly well because, you know, the end of the fight is realistically where you need the most defense. So he starts off at 140k. Now, bear in mind, he does get 180% on super, so it's almost 200%'s worth. So he's getting what? Like, he's going to be at about 400k, maybe a little bit more. Which is not great, but then backed up with 90% damage reduction, I think that's fine. Like, especially for a free-to-play unit. 5.5 million, let's go. Oh yeah, and his link set is terrible. That's the uh, the major issue with this guy, right? The new Bio Broly, at least they gave him big bad bosses. He's an LR, so he's got legendary power. There's a lot of very good LRs, obviously, on this team. Um... But yeah, this guy doesn't have big bad bosses, has Shattering the Limit, like the LR, which the rest of the team don't have. But also, for some reason, he's one of these older units that he only has six links. Yeah, they should have just given him big bad bosses. I mean, this is the thing, I've said this for a while now, but like, they should... Um... Actually, yeah, we don't need to float off Cellmax to get those guys together, do we? Because he doesn't have big bad bosses, so there's no point in having Cellmax on rotation with him. Um, yeah, these characters that only have six links, I know they don't normally do it, but like the perfect opportunity when they give those units an easy A, they should then give them the extra link. Like, why not? But they don't, so. <laughs> But yeah, Bio Broly, I mean, it's interesting because his thing about the 10 turns, like, I'm trying to think if there's any events in the current meta, like the landscape of the most difficult content in the game that we have, like the hardest fights. Are there many, if any, of those that are going all the way to 10 turns? Especially when you consider that it's this team. Like, the Broly team is obviously very much a known team that just does crazy damage. Um... Like, it's not exactly a team that is going to stall 
you to turn 10 on some of these fights. Uh, <clears throat> maybe Blue Gogeta. Even then, like, we did a run, I think it was the Bio Broly one, in fact, which, the LR Bio Broly one, that should be going up as a video today as well. Um, pretty sure we, like, one-turned both the first two phases. So, like, the team just does so much damage. But yeah, the losing damage reduction early on is not ideal, but it is every two turns. So it means for this, like, um, this setup where we're using him on rotation, it means every time he appears, he gets the one thing, because it's been two turns. If it was every turn, he would have lost two, like it would have been two procs, basically. Is, is he going to kill him? I guess if we only get the 12 key super, we should be okay. But yeah, he's only got six links. Super Saiyan, Saiyan lineage is obviously fairly common to get on this team. Berserker is a link that all the Broly units do have, but as we know, it's not exactly easy to get active. And then yeah, Revival, Nightmare, Shattering the Limit, not particularly great on this team specifically. <laughs> but yeah, this team just puts out insane damage, right? <laughs> We have Int Broly. It was Int Broly on turn one in slot three, and I didn't use his uh, domain. Because yeah, I want to see that buff. Yeah, we didn't use it. <laughs> I mean, we might as well just get you a uh, stack here. Let's get it, let him Broly finish off uh, Gohan. Yeah, that's the weird thing about Bio Broly is them giving him an ECA straight away, the LR. Because, like, we haven't had a Prime Battle LR for ages. I'm not really sure why. Like, they could have just made his kit. Do you get any extra? No, you literally just get Super Saiyan. So, yeah, this is the problem with him being on this team. So, now we're on turn 5. So, he's lost two lots of damage reduction. So, he's only going to have 50%. So, let's see how well he's going to do here. But, yeah, like, I'm not sure why they couldn't have just given him the passive he has now with his EZA. But, like, just as is. And then in the future, like, you could get us an easy A. But yeah, I don't know. Interesting to see going forwards, though, if that's what they're going to be doing. I guess it will be, because it'd be weird to do it for him and not the next one. But that means, I guess, all Prime Battle LRs are going to come out with, like, a category boost straight away. Um, an easy A straight away. Certainly interesting. I mean, the thing is, it doesn't matter whether it's his easy A passive or non easy A passive, right? Like, if he's not going to get an easy A until, you know, two years from now or something then it doesn't really matter, because the, the end result is he's in the game with that passive. So it's obviously not, like, too good for the game. Um, they could have just had him released like that, and then 
you know, two years from now when he's outdated and unusable, then give him an EZA to match up to the current, like, power level of the meta or whatever. I wonder if, can you kill Gohan before that? Like, if you kill him in one turn, right, then you wouldn't get the thing where Goku comes in, I assume. And we didn't get the best rotation for the all-out damage dealing, because, you know, the bio Broly was there, but... I mean, yeah, that is true, I guess, because he would realistically only EZA the next time we get a bio Broly related celebration, which will probably be never. tickets i have no idea when the the twitter campaign i don't know if it is like officially finished yet but yeah we'll attack goku here with everybody just so we can get the um get a couple more turns of bio Broly. I love that Goku just dodges everything as well, rather than him, like, take double digits or have ridiculous amounts of HP. He just dodges everything. And then, of course, it works both ways, because if you have a character who's guaranteed to hit, he does just take, like, no damage. But Because he will actually get hit by the Dokon attack. If you get a Dokon attack in this phase, he does actually get hit, and then he takes, like, 300 damage or something. <laughs> Yeah, Int Broly gets to build up quite nicely in this phase because uh, there's a Goku enemy. Okay, so Goo Man uh, is lost almost all of his damage reduction at this point. So we'll see how well he can still tank a uh, super from Gohan. And of course the fact that he's getting less key means it's more difficult for him to super. Yeah, now Goku actually can hit relatively hard. I mean, it's not that difficult because we're, like, stalling a little bit, right? So it's not that difficult to just get rid of Gohan if you uh, are targeting him. But, yeah. Yeah, 10-year power creep could certainly be very interesting. I do stream on Twitch as well, yep. I am live on both right now. Uh, shout out to Y Eternal for the follow over on the Twitch side. But yeah, still no in Broly for me. So hopefully those rainbow tickets from the uh, social media campaign thing come in clutch. Just wrap this up here for this phase. Mm -hmm. I have all four new units and only got to 420p coins. Would you keep some of it? I mean, it depends if you can afford to do so, right? Because that's what 80 more coins you need. So, eight multis, although in theory it could only be five, six, or seven, depending on how many extra SSRs you get. Um, I mean, if you have the stones to spend and you want a dupe for one of them, like, right away, I'd say, why not? But it also depends, like, if you're free to play or you spend a very low amount on the game, I would probably 
take that W that you have them all and just move on for whatever's next that you want to summon for, which for a lot of people, uh, the next big thing to be thinking about is the fact that the 10th anniversary is going to be in February for both versions, because obviously post-worldwide everything is synced. So there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up to summon for. Which, I mean, that's how it's been on Global for a while now, but... Alright, so this is the turn where it could get real scary for this Bio Broly, because we're not at turn 10 yet, so he doesn't have that extra 40% damage reduction back. On turn 9, he'll have lost the full amount, right? So he can lose in total... Um, what is it? No more than 60%, which is all that he starts off with. So he gets the 30% against one enemy. So he only has 30% damage reduction. So he is getting the buff from the AGL Broly domain. I won't use the, um, I won't hit the nodes for the dope on attack, right? Because I don't want Tech Broly to do too much damage. Time to get serious. Yeah, even Tech Broly taking a big super from Gohan there in slot one. Let's go. But yeah, it might be over. Bio Broly, this is where we need to see, right? Because this is one of the newest events that's out. How good is Bio Broly? Is he going to tank these normals from Tech Gohan? 9.5 on the attack stat. It's kind of funny that in this situation with all the boosts, he gets actually a similar level as the LR. He does lower attack. 217k, yeah. So, I mean, this guy, like... <clears throat> I think you do want to be floating him, right? Because if you... If he's on turn 1, you float him off, he comes back on turn 4. You float him off, he comes back on turn 7. And then you float him off again, he comes back on turn 10. And that's where he's going to have that buff. And so the problem is, it was turn 9. So... That was when he's at his weakest defensively, essentially. Let's go ahead and put the uh, sticker on him, because he does have the key blast things on the card art. But yeah, unfortunately, Tech Bio Broly, I, I, I could see a use for him on the team if you're free to play and you don't have, like, the full optimal Broly team build. But it's just like we were saying about Golden Freezer, is the end of the fight is when you want your units to be the strongest defensively because that's when the fight is the toughest. So him losing out on that damage reduction, like, and then on that turn nine, taking that much damage, like, that's uh, unfortunate. But... It is what it is, so let me know what you think of the free-to-play Bio Broly down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.